we cannot sensibly accept the insistence of Egyptologists that the Sphinx is just four and a half thousand years old. If you were to discover something older than that, you'd be very famous. You know, it's like, it's like they really looked hard. Egyptologists have long been puzzled by the mysterious steel hatch located beneath Egypt's iconic Great Sphinx. I think we're getting very close to rediscovering some of the things that um, our ancient ancestors were up to. Some of the structures in ancient Egypt are far older than conventional wisdom. After years of speculation and investigation, researchers have finally managed to unlock this hidden gateway, revealing secrets that have been sealed for millennia. There's hieroglyphs that depict a history of Egypt that goes back far longer, maybe even 30,000 plus years ago, but archeologists dismiss it because they think that that's mythical. It's all about that there's a lot of physical evidence of an advanced civilization from far, far, far longer ago. Join us as we uncover what lies beneath the Sphinx and explore the implications of this astonishing discovery on our understanding of ancient Egypt's enigmatic past. It's all mythology, it's all fake, but in reality, it's not all fake. These people left behind such detailed records and information. In a groundbreaking moment for archeology, span Egyptologists have finally unlocked the steel hatch on Egypt's ancient Sphinx revealing what may be one of the most significant discoveries in modern history. The Sphinx, which has stood guard over the Giza Plateau for thousands of years, has always been surrounded by mystery. For centuries, historians, archaeologists, and adventurers have speculated about what might lie beneath this enigmatic monument. Today, we are closer than ever to understanding the secrets the Sphinx has held for millennia. This is a story that brings together ancient history, advanced technology, and the relentless curiosity of mankind to uncover the truth about one of the most iconic structures in human history. But how did Egyptologists get to this point? What lies beneath the Sphinx? And how could this discovery reshape our understanding of ancient Egypt? Let's dive into the incredible details. The Sphinx, a monument of mystery, the Great Sphinx of Giza is one of the most iconic monuments in the world, standing tall near the pyramids of Giza, which are themselves considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Carved from a single piece of limestone, the Sphinx depicts a lion's body with a human head, traditionally believed to represent the pharaoh Khafre, who ruled Egypt around 2500 BCE. At 240 feet long and 66 feet high, it's an engineering marvel. But the Sphinx has always been more than just a symbol of royal power. Throughout history, it has been regarded as a mystery, one that has confounded generations of scholars. Ancient texts suggest that the Sphinx was not merely a monumental statue, but a guardian, protecting secrets beneath the sands of Giza. Many theories have proposed that hidden chambers or tunnels might lie beneath the Sphinx, possibly containing treasures, records of lost civilizations, or even technology that could rewrite human history. Over the centuries, there have been numerous attempts to uncover the mysteries of the Sphinx, with both ancient Egyptians and modern explorers digging around its base and searching for signs of hidden passages. While some claim to have found tunnels or chambers, none had been conclusively proven until now. Discovery of the Steel Hatch the turning point came with the discovery of a steel hatch on the Sphinx, which had remained hidden for thousands of years. Egyptologists and archaeologists had long suspected that there was more to the Sphinx than met the eye. Over the years, non-invasive techniques like ground-penetrating radar and 3D scanning had suggested the presence of underground cavities beneath the monument. But until recently, no one had been able to confirm their existence. Then came the discovery of a steel hatch, discreetly located on the side of the Sphinx's body, partially buried beneath layers of rock and sand. This hatch was unlike anything seen in ancient Egyptian architecture. Its existence alone sparked intense speculation. Why would there be a steel hatch on an ancient monument? Steel, after all, wasn't used in construction in Egypt during the time the Sphinx was built. Could it have been added later, or was it a sign of something even more mysterious? After careful examination, Egyptologists concluded that the hatch was indeed ancient, at least in part. 
Although modern techniques seem to have been used to secure it over time, the original structure of the hatch appeared to be much older than anyone had anticipated. Some speculated that the hatch could date back to a previously unknown period of Egyptian history, possibly linked to a forgotten dynasty or even an earlier civilization. Unlocking the hatch After months of planning and preparation, a team of experts was assembled to unlock the hatch. This was no simple task. The hatch was secured with advanced locking mechanisms that seemed far too complex for the time period traditionally associated with the Sphinx. Modern tools and technology were required to carefully unlock it without damaging the ancient structure or whatever lay beneath. Finally, after much anticipation, the team succeeded. The steel hatch was unlocked, and a narrow passage leading deep beneath the Sphinx was revealed. The excitement was palpable. For years, people had wondered what secrets lay beneath the Sphinx, and now the opportunity to explore those mysteries had arrived. The Tunnel Beneath the Sphinx Once the hatch was opened, Egyptologists discovered a narrow tunnel descending into the earth. The tunnel appeared to have been meticulously carved, extending down at a steep angle beneath the Sphinx's body. The walls were lined with inscriptions and hieroglyphs, some of which had never been seen before. Experts believe that these inscriptions could provide invaluable insights into the history of the Sphinx and its purpose. As the team ventured deeper into the tunnel, they were amazed by its complexity. This was not a simple passage, but a highly sophisticated underground network. The tunnel branched off in multiple directions, leading to various chambers and alcoves. Some of the chambers contained artifacts, ancient pottery, tools, and remnants of what appeared to be ceremonial objects. But the deeper the team went, the more mysterious the discoveries became. A hidden chamber, the Hall of Records, one of the most antiquated aspects of the Sphinx's secrets has been the speculation surrounding the so-called Hall of Records. According to ancient legends, this hidden chamber beneath the Sphinx contains records of ancient knowledge, possibly even the history of a lost civilization or the key to understanding the advanced technology that ancient Egyptians may have possessed. Some have even suggested that the Hall of Records could contain information about the origins of humanity or evidence of extraterrestrial contact. As the team of Egyptologists continued their exploration, they came across a large sealed door deep within the tunnel system. The door was unlike anything they had encountered before, made of an unknown material that seemed to shimmer in the dim light. It was clear that this was no ordinary door. After carefully analyzing the inscriptions around the door, the team concluded that they had found what many believed to be the Hall of Records. Using advanced technology, the team was able to carefully open the door revealing a vast chamber unlike anything ever discovered in Egypt. The chamber was filled with ancient scrolls, tablets, and strange, unknown devices. The walls were adorned with intricate carvings depicting scenes from ancient Egyptian history, but also images that defied explanation, celestial beings, advanced machinery, and what appeared to be maps of the stars. The discovery of this chamber has sent shockwaves through the archaeological community. The sheer volume of knowledge contained within the Hall of Records could take decades to fully analyze and understand. But one thing is clear. This discovery has the potential to reshape our understanding of ancient Egypt and human history itself. Advanced Technology of the Ancient Egyptians one of the most shocking revelations to come from the discovery of the Hall of Records is the evidence of advanced technology that existed in ancient Egypt, technology that far surpasses anything previously thought possible for the time. Among the artifacts discovered were devices that appeared to be energy generators, complex tools for construction, and even mechanisms that could manipulate the elements in ways that modern science cannot fully explain. This discovery raises the question, how did the ancient Egyptians possess such advanced technology? Was it the result of their own ingenuity, or did they have help from an outside source? Some have speculated that the knowledge contained in the Hall of Records could be evidence of contact with extraterrestrial beings who may have shared their technology with the ancient Egyptians. 
The presence of these advanced devices has reignited the debate about the origins of ancient Egypt's architectural marvels, including the construction of the pyramids. For years, scholars have debated how the Egyptians were able to build such massive structures with the tools available to them at the time. The discovery of these advanced tools suggests that the Egyptians may have had access to technology that allowed them to achieve these feats far more easily than previously thought. Strange artifacts and the mystery of the Sphinx's purpose. As Egyptologists continue to explore the chambers beneath the Sphinx, they have uncovered a series of strange artifacts that defy conventional explanation. Among these are objects that appear to be made from materials not found on Earth, as well as devices that seem to operate on principles of physics that are not yet fully understood by modern science. One of the most mysterious artifacts discovered is a large, spherical object that emits a faint hum when approached. It is made from a material that is completely unknown to modern science, and its purpose remains unclear. Some experts have speculated that it could be an energy source, while others believe it may be a form of communication device. These discoveries have led to renewed speculation about the true purpose of the Sphinx. Was it merely a symbol of royal power, or did it serve a more complex technological function? Some have even suggested that the Sphinx could have been a form of ancient machine designed to harness or control the energy of the Earth in some way. While this may sound like science fiction, the evidence uncovered so far suggests that the ancient Egyptians were far more advanced than we ever imagined. Theories about the origins of the Sphinx The discovery of the steel hatch and the chambers beneath the Sphinx has reignited the debate about the origins of this enigmatic monument. For decades, scholars have debated when the Sphinx was built and by whom. The traditional view is that the Sphinx was constructed during the reign of Pharaoh Khafre, around 2500 BCE. However, there are alternative theories that suggest the Sphinx may be much older than previously thought. Some researchers believe that the Sphinx could date back to a lost civilization that predates ancient Egypt. This theory is based on evidence of water erosion on the body of the Sphinx, which suggests that it may have been exposed to heavy rainfall thousands of years before the rise of the Egyptian civilization. If true, this would mean that the Sphinx was built by a civilization that existed long before the pharaohs. The discovery of the Hall of Records and the advanced technology beneath the Sphinx lends credibility to the idea that the monument may have been constructed by a highly advanced civilization, possibly one that has been lost to history. Could this lost civilization have passed on its knowledge to the ancient Egyptians, allowing them to build the incredible structures that still stand today? The impact of this discovery. The unlocking of the steel hatch and the discoveries beneath the Sphinx have the potential to rewrite the history of ancient Egypt and human civilization. The advanced technology, the Hall of Records, and the mysterious artifacts found beneath the Sphinx suggest that the ancient Egyptians, or perhaps an even older civilization, possessed knowledge and capabilities far beyond what we ever imagined. As Egyptologists and scientists continue to study the findings, we may gain new insights into how the ancient world functioned, how the great monuments of Egypt were constructed, and what role the Sphinx played in this ancient society. The unlocking of the steel hatch and the discoveries beneath the Sphinx are an extraordinary moment in archaeology and historical research. The potential implications of this discovery could change not only what we know about ancient Egypt, but also the very timeline of human civilization. To fully grasp the magnitude of what has been uncovered, let's delve even deeper into the significance of the artifacts, technology, and hidden chambers beneath the Sphinx. Theories of Alien Intervention and Lost Civilizations With the discovery of advanced technology beneath the Sphinx, it has become almost impossible for some to ignore the long-held theories that suggest ancient Egypt, and perhaps other ancient civilizations, had help from extraterrestrial beings. For decades, proponents of this idea, often referred to as ancient astronaut theorists, have pointed to the precision of ancient Egyptian architecture, including the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx, as evidence of technologies or knowledge beyond the capabilities of the time. 
These theorists propose that extraterrestrial beings visited Earth thousands of years ago, helping early humans develop their societies. According to this theory, the Sphinx could have been built, or at least modified, with the assistance of these beings. The steel hatch, the advanced locking mechanism, and the technology found beneath the Sphinx have added fuel to this already fiery debate. The discovery of inscriptions on the walls of the tunnels beneath the Sphinx, which include strange depictions of celestial beings, strange devices and stars, raises further questions. Some of these images seem to show interactions between humans and what could be interpreted as alien figures. While traditional Egyptologists are quick to point out that these images may simply represent the Egyptians' reverence for their gods, others argue that the depictions of figures descending from the sky in vessels could be evidence of ancient contact with extraterrestrial life. It's important to note that while these theories may seem far-fetched, the physical evidence unearthed during the excavation beneath the Sphinx is undeniable. The advanced tools, the strange artifacts, and the steel hatch itself all challenge our current understanding of ancient Egypt's technological capabilities. Could there be more secret chambers? The discovery of the Hall of Records has sparked intense speculation about whether there could be even more hidden chambers beneath the Sphinx. Ancient texts and legends have long suggested that the Sphinx is the key to unlocking Egypt's most profound secrets, including the location of other hidden vaults or chambers containing treasures and knowledge lost to time. Ground-penetrating radar scans have already revealed several anomalies beneath the Sphinx and the surrounding area. While the Hall of Records is a monumental discovery in its own right, there could be other chambers yet to be uncovered. These chambers could potentially contain even more artifacts, treasures, and writings that could shed light on the early history of Egypt and possibly the world. Egyptologists are now considering expanding their excavation efforts beyond the Sphinx to search for additional subterranean structures. Some experts believe that the tunnels discovered beneath the Sphinx could connect to an even larger underground complex that might include tombs of forgotten pharaohs, vaults filled with ancient technology, or even more records from lost civilizations. The Role of the Sphinx in Ancient Egyptian Religion While much of the focus has been on the technological and historical implications of the discovery, it's also important to consider the religious and symbolic significance of the Sphinx. In ancient Egypt, the Sphinx was more than just a monument. It was a powerful symbol of divine protection and a guardian of sacred spaces. Many Egyptologists believe that the Sphinx was constructed to serve as a guardian for the necropolis at Giza, protecting the tombs of the pharaohs and other important figures. The lion's body represents strength and power, while the human head symbolizes wisdom and intelligence. In this way, the Sphinx was seen as a perfect embodiment of both the physical and mental prowess required to guard the afterlife. With the discovery of the underground chambers, it's possible that the Sphinx's role as a guardian was even more significant than previously thought. The tunnels and hidden chambers beneath the Sphinx may have been considered sacred spaces, housing important religious texts, treasures, or even knowledge that the Egyptians believed was too powerful to be left unprotected. The inscriptions found in the tunnels beneath the Sphinx also offer new insights into the religious practices of ancient Egypt. Some of the hieroglyphs describe rituals that were performed in honor of the gods, while others mention prayers for protection and guidance from celestial beings. These inscriptions suggest that the underground complex was not just a storage space for artifacts, but a sacred area where religious ceremonies and rites were conducted. Revisiting the Water Erosion Theory one of the most hotly debated topics in Egyptology is the theory of water erosion on the Sphinx, which suggests that the monument is much older than previously believed. According to this theory, the deep weathering patterns found on the Sphinx's body could only have been caused by prolonged exposure to heavy rainfall, a climate condition that has not existed in Egypt for thousands of years. The discovery of the steel hatch and the tunnels beneath the Sphinx has reignited this debate. Some experts now believe that the advanced technology found beneath the Sphinx 
could be evidence of a highly sophisticated civilization that predates the ancient Egyptians. This civilization could have been responsible for constructing the Sphinx, or at least for modifying it, and may have lived during a time when the region experienced a much wetter climate. If the water erosion theory is correct, it would mean that the Sphinx is far older than the traditional estimate of around 4,500 years. Some researchers have suggested that the Sphinx could be as old as 10,000 years, which would place its construction at the end of the last ice age. This would have profound implications for our understanding of human history, as it would suggest the existence of an advanced, pre-Egyptian civilization capable of constructing monumental structures. The Implications of Ancient Technology for Modern Science The discovery of advanced technology beneath the Sphinx has left scientists and engineers in awe. Among the most intriguing artifacts are devices that seem to defy the laws of modern physics. Some of the tools and mechanisms found in the Hall of Records appear to operate on principles of energy manipulation that are not yet fully understood by contemporary science. One device, in particular, has caught the attention of researchers. A small, cube-shaped object that emits a low-frequency hum when activated. The device appears to interact with the surrounding environment in ways that modern technology cannot replicate. Some scientists have speculated that the object may be a form of energy generator or an ancient battery capable of powering large structures or machines. If this is true, it could explain how the ancient Egyptians, or a lost civilization, were able to construct the pyramids and other massive monuments with such precision. The use of advanced energy manipulation technology could have allowed them to move and shape large stones with ease, as well as power other machinery that has yet to be discovered. The implications of these discoveries for modern science are staggering. Researchers are now studying the artifacts found beneath the Sphinx in the hopes of unlocking their secrets and potentially applying this ancient technology to modern problems. If successful, this could revolutionize fields such as energy production, construction, and materials science. The Global Reaction to the Discovery The unlocking of the steel hatch and the discoveries beneath the Sphinx have sent shockwaves around the world. News outlets, scientific journals, and social media platforms have been buzzing with excitement as more details about the findings are revealed. The global reaction has been a mixture of awe, curiosity, and disbelief as people grapple with the implications of what has been uncovered. In Egypt, the government has hailed the discovery as a monumental achievement, one that will further cement the country's reputation as a center of ancient history and archaeological research. The Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities has been working closely with international experts to ensure that the excavation proceeds in a careful and methodical manner, and they have promised to make the findings available to the public as soon as possible. However, the discovery has also raised questions about the ownership and preservation of the artifacts found beneath the Sphinx. Some have argued that these artifacts belong to the world and should be studied and displayed in international museums, while others believe that they should remain in Egypt where they were discovered. There has also been a surge in public interest in ancient Egypt, with many people planning trips to visit the Sphinx and the pyramids in the hopes of seeing the discoveries firsthand. Egyptologists are expecting a new wave of interest in the study of ancient Egypt, as both professionals and amateurs are drawn to the mystery and wonder of this ancient civilization. What comes next? As Egyptologists and scientists continue to study the discoveries beneath the Sphinx, there is no doubt that more revelations are on the horizon. The sheer volume of knowledge contained in the Hall of Records alone could take decades to fully understand and there is still much to be explored in the tunnels and chambers that have been uncovered. Some experts believe that the discoveries beneath the Sphinx are just the beginning. There could be more hidden chambers beneath other monuments in Egypt, or even in other parts of the world, waiting to be uncovered. The advanced technology found in the Hall of Records could revolutionize our understanding of ancient civilizations and their capabilities, leading to new breakthroughs in science and technology. In the meantime, the world waits with bated breath as Egyptologists continue their work, unlocking the secrets of the Sphinx 
and rewriting the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever known. The discovery of the steel hatch and the chambers beneath the Sphinx is a reminder that even after thousands of years, there is still so much to learn about our past. As the research continues, we can only imagine what other secrets lie buried beneath the sands of Egypt, waiting to be discovered by future generations of explorers and scholars. On January 25, 2011, the streets of Cairo erupted with protesters, demanding the end of President Hosni Mubarak's 30-year rule. Amid the chaos and global attention focused on the turmoil above, a remarkable discovery was quietly unfolding far below the surface. Deep in the ancient, dusty tunnels of the Valley of the Kings, a team of archaeologists led by Suzanne Bickel from the University of Basel in Switzerland was on the brink of uncovering one of the most significant archaeological finds of the century. The team had stumbled upon the top of a large round stone at the eastern end of the valley. Initially, they thought it might be just the top of an abandoned shaft. However, the stone was part of something much more extraordinary. The archaeologists had uncovered the entrance to a previously unknown tomb, later identified as KV-64. This was a breakthrough, as the Valley of the Kings, a royal burial ground for pharaohs and nobles, had not seen such a significant discovery in decades. Before they could explore further, they had to navigate Egypt's strict regulations for archaeological discoveries. They carefully covered the stone with a locked iron door, informed the Egyptian authorities, and applied for the necessary permits to continue their excavation. A year after receiving the green light to dig, Bickle returned to the remote site, this time with a robust team of around two dozen experts and laborers. Among them were Elena Paula Groth, a distinguished field director from the University of Basel, and Egyptian inspector Ali Rita. Local workers whose families had lived in the area for generations also joined the team. The atmosphere buzzed with anticipation as they prepared for the careful task ahead. Each member took turns lying on the ground, pressing their heads against the cool shaft wall and reaching through a small hole next to the capstone to take photographs. The images they captured were nothing short of astonishing, revealing the unmistakable presence of an ancient tomb. This tomb, untouched for millennia, held secrets of a long-lost era. Amidst the debris inside the tomb rested a dusty black coffin, a remarkable find. It was carefully carved from plain tree wood and adorned with large, vibrant yellow symbols that stood out boldly on its sides and top. The craftsmanship was wonderful, and Bickle, who had seen numerous Egyptian artifacts in her career, declared that she had never encountered a coffin in such extraordinary condition. The team also discovered fragments of pottery made from Nile silt and pieces of plaster, materials commonly used by ancient Egyptians to seal tomb entrances. These findings, combined with the dating of nearby sites, indicated that the tomb was likely over 3,000 years old, dating back to the New Kingdom period, a time when pharaohs like Ramses II and Tutankhamun ruled Egypt. The symbols reveal that the tomb belongs to a woman named Namus Bastet. Experts in ancient Egyptian history, known as Egyptologists, believe she was a high-ranking lady associated with the Amun Temple. Nemes Bastet lived during a time when Egypt was a hub of cultural and religious activity, making her burial site particularly captivating. For years, people have been saying that there is nothing new. To discover in the Valley of the Kings, this belief dates back to the time they started digging there. Giovanni Belzoni, an antiquarian from Venice, thought he had uncovered the last of the tombs in the valley during his expedition in 1817. About a century later, another excavator named Theodore Davis also believed he had finished exploring the valley just before the famous tomb of Tutankhamun was discovered. The Valley of the Kings has long been a treasure collection of ancient wonders. During the New Kingdom period, it served as the burial ground for pharaohs and powerful nobles from the 16th to the 11th century BCE. Each tomb tells a story of the individual buried within and the society that built it. These tombs are often decorated with detailed wall paintings and inscriptions that provide insights into the religious beliefs and daily life of ancient Egyptians. Fortunately, a growing number of people now think there are still many hidden treasures waiting to be found in the Valley of the Kings, the Nile Delta, and across Egypt. Modern technology, such as ground-penetrating radar and 3D mapping, 
has revolutionized the way archaeologists search for and study ancient sites. These advancements have led to the discovery of previously hidden chambers and artifacts, suggesting that the valley still holds many secrets. Discoveries like Nemas's Bastet's tomb continue to spark interest in these ancient mysteries. The artifacts found within her tomb, although simple, can provide valuable information about the burial practices and daily life of the upper class in ancient Egypt. Items such as pottery, jewelry, and amulets often hold symbolic meaning and were believed to protect and provide for the deceased in the afterlife. It is fascinating to see that even a wealthy woman from this period was buried with rather simple belongings. Bickle notes that Namus's plain wooden coffin and basic steel tools stand in stark contrast to the luxurious pottery, furniture, and food found in older tombs. Though her wooden coffin was quite costly, it lacked the complex inner, coffins seen in other similar burials. Could this be the resting place of an incredibly ancient queen? The discovery of Namus's coffin has caused quite a stir among Egyptologists. Unlike the elaborate gold and jewel-encrusted sarcophagi of well-known pharaohs like Tutankhamun, Namez's burial suggests a different social status, or possibly an even older time. Wooden coffins were typically used for those who could not afford stone, yet the craftsmanship indicates she was still an important figure. After reinforcing the coffin and securing the mummy, Bickle's team transported it across the Nile to Luxor. There, a thorough investigation is currently underway to uncover the true identity of this mysterious woman. Advanced imaging techniques, including CT scans and 3D reconstructions, are being used to study the mummy without damaging it. DNA analysis may provide clues about her lineage, potentially linking her to known royal families or revealing previously unknown connections. With significant insights into the controversial finds of ancient Egypt, people often find that the simplest tombs with wooden tombs turn out to be the oldest. Additionally, their symbols are frequently more wonderful in detail. Some experts believe that earlier periods focused more on the quality of descriptions rather than the excess of burial goods. Could this be the discovery of an original burial with the simple signs falsely claiming the identity of the occupant to conceal the tomb's true ancient origins? Some perimeter scientists suggest that Egyptian antiquities might be hiding a sacred truth. They believe that the Egyptians merely copied the original builders of the pyramids, taking over their structures after they were already constructed. Years later, people continue to uncover fascinating evidence supporting these claims in various forms. In 1995, a remarkable discovery was made under Giza by a team led by Kent Weeks. They unearthed over 100 underground chambers, shedding new light on the ancient site. Some alternative researchers propose that the history of ancient Egypt might be entirely different from the official narrative. According to these researchers, the inhabitants of the Pharaonic Empire were not the original builders of the pyramids. Instead, they believe the Egyptians simply copied the grand structures created by an earlier unknown civilization. But how credible are these claims? Is there any substantial evidence to back them up? Supporters of this theory often point to the significant erosion patterns found on the pyramids, and most notably, the Sphinx. They argue that the heavy rainfall that caused these erosion marks suggests that the Stone Guardian is much older than mainstream experts believe. Detailed studies of past rainfall patterns indicate that the erosion does not match the presumable period when the pyramids and the Sphinx were built. Remarkably, some theorists suggest that these structures could be as old as 800,000 years. However, this idea presents a major challenge. The current understanding indicates that Homo sapiens have only been around for about 300,000 years, making it seemingly impossible for humans to have constructed these monuments at such an ancient time. If these claims hold any truth, they would radically change the understanding of human history and ancient civilizations. The possibility that an advanced society predating known human history might have existed is both thrilling and bewildering, inviting people to rethink the origins of some of the world's most iconic structures. What's remarkable is that these chambers show evidence of multiple flash flooding events involving seawater throughout the ages, suggesting a complex history people are only beginning to understand. What adds to the mystery is the absence of any written records detailing the construction of these monuments. Despite extensive code writings found in ancient Egypt, 
there's no mention of how the pyramids or the Sphinx were built. This interesting gap in historical records sparks curiosity. Surprisingly, more hasn't been shared about such a significant find, leaving people to wonder about the implications of this discovery. Could it be a groundbreaking but controversial revelation? Delving into Kulab, a site that had been explored extensively, apart from its massive ancient wall surrounding the entrance, Kulab's location atop a naturally formed hill challenges previous assumptions made by academia. This site holds layers of history waiting to be uncovered, potentially reshaping the understanding of the past. Upon exploring this site, the construction of the wall, upon closer examination, revealed a monumental feat of human labor and engineering. Yet what lay beyond this formidable barrier surpassed mere natural formation. It was discovered that the area behind the fortress had been intentionally filled with earth, shaping a plateau. This revelation challenged the long-held beliefs of experts who had overlooked the possibility of human intervention in its formation. Moreover, the plateau wasn't just a random occurrence, but a deliberate creation. Geologists, academics, and archaeologists had previously missed the signs of deliberate human activity in shaping the landscape. What became apparent was not only the painstaking creation of the plateau to support the fortress, but also the ingenious design of its entrances. These passageways proved the remarkable intellect of the builders, allowing access to the site. However, as invaders attempted to breach the fortress, they faced not only the challenge of narrow passages, but also strategic vulnerabilities. Furthermore, the entrances weren't mere openings, but intricately designed pathways. Some were wide enough to deceive invaders into a false sense of security, only to gradually narrow down, exposing them to attacks from above and from both sides as they advanced towards the mansion itself. This strategic design made infiltration easier, but more possible for larger groups. Deep within a complex cave system at the site, accessible only after descending a staggering 800 meters underground, lies a hidden burial chamber. This chamber wasn't just a resting place, it was carefully crafted to ensure the preservation of these individuals' remains for centuries. Moreover, its construction aimed to thwart tomb raiders who have destroyed countless burial sites across history and various cultures. Among the treasures unearthed are wooden idols adorned with detailed carvings and treated with advanced preservation techniques lost to time. These artifacts have defied the ravages of time and climate offering tantalizing clues to the advanced skills of the ancient inhabitants. However, what sets this discovery apart are the mummies found within the chamber. Unlike anything seen before, these mummies are remarkably intact, with intricate facial features and well-preserved clothing hinting at a sophisticated culture. Their presence challenges existing theories about the site's creators and promises to unravel one of archaeology's greatest mysteries. Thankfully, Despite the widespread looting of ancient tombs over the years, this burial chamber remained concealed and untouched until now, holding the potential to rewrite history books. Even though mummies were absent, archaeologist Warren Church remained determined to unlock the secrets of Los Pachucos. For nearly two decades, he delved into his work, driven by the mystery surrounding the site. Los Pachucos, a marvel of ancient engineering, stood as a fortress against time. Its construction reflected tremendous effort and ingenuity. The Cloud People, or Chachapoya, as called by the Incas, inhabited these ruins which dotted the landscape of Peru. Despite the challenges, they thrived until the arrival of the Spanish, but their downfall was hastened by the introduction of smallpox. What makes the Cloud People exciting is not just their resilience, but also their cultural expressions. They left no written records, but adorned their environment with intricate stone carvings illustrating orchids, butterflies, and jaguars, offering glimpses into their beliefs and surroundings. Church's discoveries went beyond the surface. He uncovered evidence of the Chachapoya's agricultural skill, carving. Terraces into steep slopes for farming, showcasing their adaptation to the environment. In a remarkable find within the site's burial chamber, Church unearthed mummies revealing startling details. Contrary to expectations, these mummies had European features, fair skin and blonde hair. This discovery raised questions about the origins and interactions of ancient peoples across continents, hinting at possible transoceanic connections. 
Church described these mummies as some of the most captivating relics from the past he had ever encountered. Were these ancient mummies the original architects of this breathtaking site? Or were they newcomers like the Incas, settling here later? How they arrived in the Peruvian hills and became custodians of this remarkable place remains one of history's interesting puzzles. Yet scattered across the globe, mummies with features resembling Europeans have been unearthed. Does this tantalizingly suggest the existence of a once great civilization, like the legendary Atlanteans sharing their wisdom worldwide before some explosive event? Regardless of their origins, the research conducted by the church is truly commendable. And these discoveries are endlessly fascinating. In the year 1835, amidst the fields of Kent, UK, an ordinary laborer was going about his daily work when his shovel struck the ground in just the right spot, revealing something extraordinary. As his shovel made contact with the earth, it seemed to vanish into the ground, exposing a hidden doorway to an underground realm unknown to the surface world. The laborer soon realized he had stumbled upon the entrance to a network of mysterious caverns lying beneath the Earth's surface, invisible from above. News of this astonishing find quickly spread like wildfire, igniting curiosity in everyone who heard about it. Eager to unveil the secrets hidden below, a local school teacher bravely volunteered his son, Joshua, to embark on a daring journey into the depths below. He described a mesmerizing sight, intricate, Runes etched into stones and adorned with millions of meticulously arranged seashells, forming a breathtaking mosaic. Initially met with skepticism, his claims were doubted by many. However, when the entrance was widened, allowing curious onlookers to behold the spectacle with their own eyes, their skepticism transformed into awe as they beheld the stunning beauty of the shell-laden chamber. Today, this marvel is renowned as the Shell Grotto of Margate, Yet despite its fame, the enigma surrounding its origins and purpose persists. Covering nearly every surface, from walls to ceilings, the mosaic spans approximately 190 square meters and comprises an estimated 4,600,000 shells. These shells, carefully selected for their color and shape, create an otherworldly ambiance within the grotto. Scholars have ventured numerous theories to unravel the mystery of its creation. Some speculate it to be a whimsical project of a wealthy individual during the 18th or 19th century, while others propose it to be a relic of prehistoric times, possibly serving as an astronomical calendar or holding ties to the secretive Knights Templar. What adds to the interest is the absence of scientific dating. Despite its fame, the Shell Grotto of Margate remains untouched by modern scientific analysis, leaving its age and purpose shrouded in mystery. This absence of concrete evidence only adds to its mystery, inviting further speculation and wonder. Delving deeper into the mosaic itself, it reveals a fascinating array of shell varieties. While local shells like mussels, cockles, limpets, scallops, and oysters dominate the artwork, it is the flat winkle that forms the majority of the background infill between the intricate designs. This particular shell's prevalence hints at a deliberate choice, perhaps suggesting a symbolic or practical significance to its use within the mosaic. However, this shell is an exceedingly rare find, scarcely seen in local areas. It likely washed up on shores located to the west of Southampton, carried by ocean currents. The shell grotto, although stunning, remains relatively obscure in public. Awareness. Further scientific inquiry is essential to unlock the secrets behind its remarkable construction. Nestled within Laos, a landlocked country in Southeast Asia, lies one of the most mysterious archaeological sites known to humanity. Over the years, researchers have delved into countless newspaper archives, sifted through oral histories, and even recovered stolen remains of an ancient human species believed to be much larger than modern humans. Moreover, across various parts of the world, there are intriguing discoveries of ancient giant artifacts. These artifacts include tools, utensils, and massive structures that seem impractical for people of our stature today. They hint at the existence of a race of beings much larger than us, with capabilities beyond our understanding. Adding to the mystery, our archaeological site in Laos stands as a compelling piece of evidence possibly left behind by this ancient race of giants. 
One of the most intriguing mysteries of the ancient site known as the Plain of Jars revolves around the enigmatic figure called the Frogman. This vast area, located in Laos, is scattered with thousands of giant stone jars, each crafted on such a grand scale that they seem impractical for any modern human use. The Plain of Jars spans across Xiang Kuang Plateau and is divided into several sites, with the largest containing over 400 jars. Some of these jars reach up to three meters in height and can weigh several tons. The original purpose of these stone jars, situated in remote and often rugged locations, remains a baffling question. Were they made by our distant ancestors? This is a mystery that has stumped modern scholars and might never be fully explained. Among the hundreds of jars, all but one are completely undecorated. Only one jar stands out, adorned with the image of a frogman. This unique jar adds to the intrigue, suggesting a possible cultural or ritualistic significance that has yet to be understood. The image of the frogman could symbolize a deity, a mythological creature, or a clan emblem, but its exact meaning remains a mystery. According to scholars, these aqua jars date back to the Iron Age, around 500 BC, but some evidence suggests they could be even older. Archaeological excavations have uncovered human remains, beads, and ceramics near some jars, indicating that the sites may have been used for burial practices. The presence of bones and artifacts hints at complex rituals and beliefs surrounding death and the afterlife, further deepening the mystery of the jar's purpose. Local legends add another layer of fascination to the Plain of Jars. One popular myth claims that the jars were created by a race of giants who used them to brew and store large quantities of rice wine to celebrate a great victory in battle. Another tale suggests that the jars were used to collect monsoon rainwater for travelers and traders. The Plain of Jars is undeniably one of the most significant prehistoric sites in Southeast Asia, holding secrets that have yet to be uncovered. This remarkable site undoubtedly deserves more attention and research to uncover its ancient mysteries. Who created these enormous jars? Why were they made in such impractical sizes? Where did the stones come from? And how were they transported to their final resting places high on these plateaus? Could they have been made by a race of giants? And who is our mysterious Frogman character? Was this single image a signature left by the original makers of these giant jars? Unfortunately, we may never know the answers. In Siberia, archaeologists discovered a bracelet that dates back to a time modern science attributes to the Denisovan species of early humans. This remarkable bracelet, confirmed by scientists to be 40,000 years old, is the oldest piece of jewelry ever found. The bracelet was unearthed at a site now known as Denisova Cave in the Altai region of Siberia in 2008. After detailed analysis, Russian experts confirmed the bracelet's age and authenticity. Intriguingly, the bracelet is made of chlorite, a stone not found near the cave, indicating that the Denisovans either traveled long distances or traded with other groups to obtain the material. The craftsmanship of the bracelet is astonishing, featuring a drilled hole made with ye. Advanced tools, suggesting that the Denisovans had more sophisticated technology than previously thought. Scientists have concluded that this intricate piece of jewelry must have been made by the Denisovans, an extinct species of humans. This discovery reveals that they were far more advanced than we had ever realized. The Denisova cave has also yielded other artifacts, including a well-preserved pinky bone and teeth, which have provided crucial DNA evidence. This evidence has helped scientists understand more about the Denisovans and their relation to modern humans and Neanderthals. The Denisovans' advanced skills in jewelry making imply they had knowledge of techniques and tools that were quite sophisticated for their time. The bracelet's polished surface and the precision of the drilled hole suggest that they had developed a form of technology that was previously unknown to modern science. These findings challenge our understanding of prehistoric human capabilities and hint at a complex and interconnected prehistoric world. Further examination of the intricate bracelet unearthed perplexing revelations sending ripples through the academic community. Originally presumed to be a product of natural wear and tear, the discovery of a carefully crafted drill hole challenged the prevailing narrative. The precision of the hole suggested not erosion, but the deliberate hand of an ancient artisan, wielding what can only be described as a sophisticated jeweler's tool. 
Dr. Derek Yanko, in his illuminating discourse within the pages of Novice Obesity Magazine, detailed the remarkable dimensions of the bracelet's fragments. Measuring 2.7 centimeters in width and 0.9 centimeters in thickness, each fragment bore witness to the artisan's mastery. However, it was the presence of a perfectly drilled hole, approximately 0.8 centimeters in diameter, nestled near a fracture, that captured the imagination of scholars. Upon meticulous analysis, scientists unraveled further clues embedded within the artifact. The drill hole's characteristics hinted at a manufacturing process far beyond the era's technological capabilities. With the revelation that the drill bit rotated at a consistently high speed, displaying minimal fluctuations, experts were left awestruck. It was a testament to the ingenuity of ancient craftsmanship, suggesting the employment of advanced implements ahead of their time. As whispers of this archaeological marvel spread, speculation ran rampant within scholarly circles. The mystery surrounding the identity of the bracelet's creator ignited a fervent debate, leaving even the most seasoned researchers at a loss for concrete answers. The enigma persisted, beckoning those untethered by the constraints of conventional academia to delve into the realms of speculation and wonder.